Hey guys, X here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, this is going to be another Savannah monitor uh, estivation or diapause update, uh, whichever term you want to use. Uh, but before we get started, I just wanted to uh, tell about a little mistake I made. Uh, so I've been calling this one a girl, but I actually think it might be male. So since I started the uh, estivation period, the uh, tail fat has dropped a little bit and I've noticed uh, some hemipenal bulges and then the head is starting to look a little more uh, robust like a male's head. So I might have been a little premature in saying it was a female but that's okay. Also I keep putting plants in here but uh, he keeps trampling them. I had a pothos that he trampled and killed. I had uh, that monstera that he trampled and killed. I had some ferns in here that died. The only thing that seems to last is that a uh, palm back there. I can't remember what it's called, but uh, yeah, that's the only thing that seems to survive. So I think during summer, once I build an outdoor enclosure for him, I'm gonna plant some plants in here. That way they have all summer to get established and not uh, get trampled and killed by this guy. But uh, the estivation period's going pretty well. As you can see, he hasn't lost too much body weight still looks good uh, the tail fat has dropped a little bit not a ton uh, he's going through a shed right now so everything seems to be going good uh, i have been looking up the weather patterns in um, ghana where these guys are usually uh, exported from and i looked at the the uh, rain patterns and all that and it's in um, january they get i think like four or five days of rain every year on average and it's like three inches of rain for that month so about once a week i do give the enclosure a light mist and uh, he drinks from the puddles so he is getting a little bit of water but still haven't fed for a month now so it's been almost a month it's coming up on four weeks of no food for him and he's still doing good he just lays there or on his rock or on the wood or up here on the platform and just baths all day doesn't really walk around much he uh, has been digging a little bit trying to find worms i have seen him uh find and eat two or three worms in here uh super worms that are in the soil but other than that i'm not feeding at all seems to be going well so far haven't noticed any really differences he doesn't doesn't move around as much which i think is normal especially when you're not getting as much food but as you can see the tail is not as thick as it usually is so that's really the only place that i've noticed any uh any difference but still looks very healthy for not eating for a month especially for a lizard like this that uh requires very high temperatures they need to eat a lot so the fact that he hasn't lost a lot of body weight is a uh, pretty pretty cool definitely not as stressful as i thought it would be uh, my wife asked me constantly if i think he's going to do okay so i think she's freaking out a little bit more than i am but seems to be doing good everything's going well not really much updates other than that, but uh, I'll continue making uh, update videos on them just to keep everybody updated so there's more information about this out there. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.